Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing another swipe minimalistic um, painting. Uh, if you look back on some of my prior videos, I think I have a couple up, depending on um, what dates I put these on there. So I'm going to be using a 12 by 12. I'm, I have it on my spinner, uh, my Lazy Susan. I'm not sure if I'm going to spin the whole thing or do some tilting to get the right composition. Anyway, um, my recipe for these paints are down below. I thinned them out just a little bit, not very much for this technique. Um, I think it would work. You know, just add a little bit of water to each one and we'll see what we get. So my pillow is Color Place Satin from Walmart, pre-made. I'll get it right off the shelf. So let's get going on this. So I think I'm gonna, I don't know how I'm gonna have my design, I really don't. problem with this technique is you want to have a lot of base, but then if you have too much, then you're going to lose your design. And with what I'm doing here, it's sort of important, the composition that you're going to get, because you don't want to lose it. So I'm going to help spread this out, because I'm going to be tilting a lot. Have that edge right along the edge of your canvas and I want to make sure that paint gets over that edge. I can fix up the sides after but sometimes if it doesn't get over that raised edge and as you're working it that paint starts drying and if you go back later you could have a problem. So it's best just to get it now. Then you can work on the very edges after. Okay, I'm going to be using Black Cell Activator for my swipe. I'm going to be using business cards. Cut up, different sizes. So Explain the colors as I lay them down. This is my black cell activator. That's Amsterdam black oxide and Australian Floetrol. My other mixes, our recipe are in the description below. All the brands and uh, the amounts. Hope you all are being safe. This COVID thing, I can't wait till it's over. We are in such a lockdown here in California, it's ridiculous. Stay safe. Hey, I was just reading today about different blood types are more susceptible to getting the COVID. And um, I guess O. Oh. If you have O blood type, um, you're less risk of getting it and also becoming very ill from it. Eh, just a little spiel I had on my mind. So I'm going to go ahead and start laying the colors. I'm going to do, this is a Hagee Life Purple Haze and Artist Loft Violet mixed together. Very pretty. So do some kind of design that I can do. Whatever I feel. Okay. Don't need a lot of paint at all. This is a cadmium orange hue from Creative Inspirations. Just 
This one is uh -oh, Color Cottage. Color Cottage Turquoise and Grumbacher Turquoise. I'm sorry, Color Cottage Totally Teal Pigments and Grumbacher Turquoise Green. And I just, let's get this on there. And the last time I used this 20, Deco Art 24 Karat, it really disappeared. So that's why I'm going to put this on top. See if it matters at all. I might use a little more of this. Okay, I think that's that's about it. Not a whole lot of paint, guys. All right, I'm gonna lay my cell activator down on this wax paper. Sorry, can't, probably can't see that. There it is. I'm gonna move my paint out of the way. If I'm gonna spin. I have these sticks that I taped on the bottom of my Lazy Susan to help me spin it easier. I'm gonna get those out of the way. Okay, different sizes. What size do I wanna go with? I guess I'll go with bigger size for the first swipe. No rhyme or reason, just whatever you feel. There's no right way to do this. Um, I'm still learning too. Just write it on the off. Okay, I think I want to go smaller. Don't worry if you don't get all of the paint, like some of this paint didn't swipe, but that's okay. It's sort of like this pseudo swipe where you don't have to get it all. But I do wanna get this area right here. a little too straight. Let's go on. Bring that in. Okay, now I'm going to decide, go ahead and, I like where it's swiped and you just have the background white coming through. this edge.
sort of looks like a bird. Right now I'm going to mess with it a little bit. Let's see if it's really this. Sticky, so you have to be careful if you're going to do this at the end because it'll Okay, let's see what we got. Go ahead and give it a spin first, and then I'll end up tilting it. Okay, ready. Make sure it can go around. Don't forget. too far down this this way so I'm gonna pick that up I'm pick up the whole lazy Susan the way it's <clears throat> that rack is taped onto this so I'm gonna tilt I'm already missing some white here That's where putting this base paint on it gets tricky because some areas are gonna that have more paint are gonna move faster than other areas. But yet if you put the whole thing just super thick, then you're gonna have to tilt more off than you want to. So it gets a little tricky. Even though I got the edges, still have to get them. Because this middle part was moving and this one wasn't. So that's just what you're going to get. Not exactly what you want.
we need to add in a little bit here. I put very little paint and it's growing to be bigger than I wanted it to be. I love the colors. I'm afraid to point, so I will point with a stick. This is sort of cool right in here. I don't know if you can see that. I'll bring it down a bit. There we go. It's different. Some different cells right here. That came off and then came back on again. I like it. It's colorful. I like the colors a lot. So now that I think I'm done, and I'm hoping there's not too much paint on here, I will cover this. It does have GAC 800 in the base paint. That also helps cracking. So make sure you cover all your, your, your work. Even regular paintings, I always cover it. Just keep the dust off, slows down the drying. It helps. Don't have your your painting under a heater vent, something like that. So I'm going to touch up the sides and then I will bring it down. All right, here it is dry. It's been about a couple days. Just wanted to give you a, a dried shot of it. Sort of looks like a bird's head. I love these colors together. Don't forget to check out my social sites below. Check my Amazon shop. Please subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.